iPhone as a light meter? iPhone is the multi-hyphenate device. We use it for getting around, paying for our coffee, looking like a cat, throwing a private dance party, and keeping up with our friends. But for all of you photographers out there, did you know that you can actually use the iPhone as a highly accurate light meter? Let's take a look. This is the Luma 2 Pro. It snaps right into your iPhone through the lightning connector and with the Luma light metering app, gives you a full featured light meter right on your iPhone. The best thing about the Luma 2 is the flexibility of the app. You have all of these high-end light meter and color meter features right at your fingertips. Now, you know, a traditional light meter, they're awesome. Traditional color meter, it's fantastic. But if an engineer comes up with a new feature or a new way to use the interface, it's not like they can add another button or another dial somewhere. So there's a lot of flexibility doing all this on a phone. Quick tip, you don't have to fire the meter off here on the screen. You can actually use the volume buttons. So is the Luma 2 Pro a replacement for a light meter or color meter? Well, yes and no. It's highly accurate. It's very, very precise. So if you're using it for landscapes, cityscapes, natural light conditions, natural light portraits, or constant light portraits, I think it's an excellent choice. It gets a little sticky if you're shooting with strobe. It can read flash, but it doesn't sync with flash, and that can be a real deal breaker for certain photographers. On the color meter end, this is an amazing, amazing value. The only issue for a DP, of course, would be if the set ban wireless devices or phones. So it's definitely something to consider. You know, the thing that surprised me the most about the Luma 2 Pro was the implementation of the spot meter. I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. It actually leverages the iPhone camera to get in and get that tiny, tiny, precise read and it was awesome. It's just a really well-designed UI that's very considerate of a field photographer. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm using the spot metering function. This is really cool. It leverages the iPhone camera and I'm looking at the small percentage of the composition and I'm just using this little circle which I can move around and I want to give priority to Matt here. So I'm looking at Matt, got the meter right on him, I'm gonna raise my shutter. And lower my ISO a bit here. Yeah, that looks good. And you can click in on hold, and that's grabbed Matt there. And so my exposure is gonna be ISO 125-ish, ISO 100 maybe, F2 and one uh, 640th of a second. Now we may go like third of a stop under, third of a stop over, but that's a pretty, pretty great place to start. All right, ready to shoot, Matt? All right. Do you want to look right at me? Tilt your head just a little bit. Bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, touch more. All right, coming in. The iPhone has gotten so good at so many things. It's this wonderful general purpose device that helps folks navigate their lives a little better. The Luma Power 2 Pro meter, when you pop it in there, you get a very, very powerful professional grade light meter that you can use for photo and for video. It fits right into this perfect little leather pouch, slide it into your pocket with the iPhone, go anywhere, do anything. For more on the Luma Power 2 Pro photography and all things imaging, visit B&H. I'm photographer David Flores, see you next time.